Welcome to DeFi Crypto Today. Our topic today is Star Terra, a new project from the Terra Luna people and the development team in Poland. So it's kind of a group of people from Korea, Poland and elsewhere that are developing this. It looks very exciting and that's why we're talking about it today. So, uh, if you go here to starterra.io Now, as you can see, it's going to be some sort of battle in space thingy. But it's a lot more than that. They're combining DeFi, NFTs, IDOs, uh, gamification for IDOs, and uh, play to earn as well. So it's all kinds of exciting stuff they're uh, working on. L l let's have a look at what they're talking about. So um, first thing is, uh, if you want to get updates, well, it's probably a good idea to subscribe and put your email here. If we're on the main page and we click on uh, the links here, we're going to see what we're talking about. So about us, not me, I'm not there. Them. <laughs> Okay, so Start Era is the first gamified launch pad with a unique combination of guaranteed and lottery based prize pools. They're combining a lot of stuff, so hopefully it's going to work. Uh, so they have a gamified tier system for uh, as a launch pad. So if you have a, a great Terra project, go talk to them and um, you know, they, they can help you launch your project using their gamified uh, tier system. So they have gamified NFT integration as well, high quality IDO projects. So as I said, if you have an IDO project of high quality, you can go and talk to them. They got defl deflationary to uh, tokenomics, tokenomics, to tokenomics, yeah, tokenomics. So they're burning tokens. That's what it means, I guess. And you can deposit and get 20% yield on your deposit. You can play to earn. Actually, right now you can make a lot more um, LP tokens on this. We're going to see what we're talking about in a few minutes. Okay, then we have factions. So there are five factions, five groups of uh, investors, more or less. Uh, they have the Star Terra uh, faction, which is tier one. They represent 5% of uh, the pools. And here you have the lunatics. They represent 15% and up to 20% and so on. You have the degens, the interstellars, and finally you have the big whales here. And uh, that represent 30% guarantee, and so on. So, uh, well, b basically, the, the three main ones where people can join are these three. Okay, if you're like average, not a whale or an originator. And basically, these three uh, are going to fight for IDOs and other things. Okay, it's going to be some gaming going on and you're going to be fighting faction against faction and so on. Try to make more money and win NFTs and, and airdrops and all kinds of nice things. Okay, so the token is the STT token, the Start -t Terra token. <laughs> And it's a staking utility, a governance token, and it's got deflationary tokenomics. So we can read more about these here. So basically, the, the, the main thing for me, because I'm mostly a farmer, I'm just a stupid little farmer, uh, I want to earn passive income on this thing. And if I can get some, uh, they say, weekly airdrops, I like weekly airdrops, so if I can get some free tokens uh, dumped on me as well, that'd be nice. So this is the roadmap as it stands right now. We are here, right in the middle. So Q1, they were doing the market research, trying to figure out what the project is going to be about. 
and in Q2 they start building the community, the foundation, they created a team, web development and so on, getting, gathered some uh, big investors and some strategic partners and we're here in Q3 uh, it's going to be a public sale of, uh, of STT we can still buy STT right now uh, right on their website or on Terra Station uh, and I think Terra Swap so you can uh, you can buy right now and until that there's going to be their DEX listing somewhere and eventually want to do a sex listing and, <laughs> and they're going to uh, have a complete platform launch at that point so they're going to be an early stage platform launch so some of the features are going to come up gradually and eventually the, the, the whole platform should be developed at that point at the end of the year with luck and a lot of programming so uh, we have uh, the team for, for a change, okay, it's nice to see faces on a lot of DeFi projects, uh, everybody's anonymous. So here you see a lot of faces. Okay, so these are the people from the Polish team. There's a lot of uh, ski in there and, and Beck and Ska and whatever. So, <laughs> sorry. And Luke Wan, uh, the uh, Terra God is here as well, okay, as a trusted partner. So, um, a lot of these guys have a lot of experience in programming and user interface and security and all that jazz. So, uh, that, that helps build confidence about the project, okay? So, now there is a white paper. Let me open it. There's a white paper that's very extensive. There's a lot of information in the white paper if it can show up. Okay, so there's a start. The white paper is black. I don't know. But <laughs> so they explain uh, the story of the project and what the project is about. And a very, uh, it, it's very detailed. So take some time and read it to, if you want to understand the project. Okay, uh, here something I thought was cool is uh, it shows. Okay, all right. Okay, we'll edit this bit. So, just to give you an idea, uh, I'm not sure exactly when they did this, but this is to show uh, the relative sizes of various blockchains at the moment. Um, so, you can see that, of course, Ethereum is like about uh, I don't know, 80 percent of uh, total value locked and the next biggest one is BSC which has a sizable chunk of it I would say about 10 percent roughly and you got Polygon which about 5 percent and Terra which what looks to me like around I don't know three four percent so Terra is the third at the moment when they made this the third uh, oh yeah, August 5th 2021. So as of August 5th, uh, Terra was the third largest and uh, the fourth largest uh, blockchain. So, and, and I really like that the Terra Luna uh, and ecosystem. The projects are pretty solid. Most of them, uh, program uh, the programmers are really good. Security seems to be. Uh, quite good as well according to audits and other reports I've, I've read so far of course this is new and in terms of audit I, I didn't find an audit yet okay but they do talk a lot about its security on their medium page so if we go on medium and go to the the star uh, Terra page and I search for audits, and this is what we we found. Make it uh, so. Uh, lastly, there's been some concerns relating to the recent Terra World launch. That's another project on Terra, and the on-chain congestion that followed congestion was caused by uh, 
The terror word launch was a, uh, as a result of a mistake in the code. Okay, so um, so it wasn't a problem on the Terra blockchain. It was a problem on the, the protocol's code itself. So uh, basically, they they want to try to avoid doing this, according to what they're saying here. They want the highest quality coding. Their smart contracts were reviewed by Everstake and Attic Lab uh, with uh, world-class developer Yari Savchenko. I'm not Polish, I don't know how to pronounce this, sorry. And uh, the code was developed and fully secured by Tomasz uh, Kowalczyk. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce, sorry. And uh, Anyway, so they have a, what they claim to have a very experienced programming team that takes uh, security seriously. So that does give me a little bit of confidence in the project. I like also that Doquan is part of their, their team. Okay. Um, but I would like to see a real audit at some point. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to see that, okay, before I invest a lot of money in there. I'm, I'm going to, to want to see an audit. But let, let's have a look at the project. So, from the main page, we can launch the app and we end up here. So, um, the first thing you, you could do if you want, if you're interested uh, in uh, investing in this as well. You can buy your STT tokens. So you need uh, to have your uh, Terra wallet set up. So you can set it up as an extension here like I did. I'm not going to explain how to do this. Most wallets function the same way. So if you have a MetaMask wallet, just look for the Terra Station wallet on uh, on Brave or uh, on Chrome and you should be able to install this. Okay, it's not difficult. Be careful, keep your uh, your security key uh, safe and uh, write it down on a piece of paper, put it in a safe and so on. You know, the usual safety precautions. And you need to have some UST tokens in order to buy the STT tokens. Here's a big mouse. Okay. So I already did, uh, did a small purchase today. Um, I'm just gonna walk you through the steps. I'm not gonna actually do it right now, but I'll, I'll show you uh, what I staked. Uh, now, they have a lot of, I'm not sure why they put such a high slippage to tolerance of 10%. Uh, I was able to trade, uh, to swap these things with uh, 1%. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe it's a good idea to swap it at 1% if it works for you. Okay, so I bought some uh, STT, hit swap, and then Terra would ask for my password and so on. And once that's done, then uh, this, I'm not quite sh uh, sure I understand the vesting part. This. They say um, the claim investing panel is for public and private sale participants. I'm not sure did I, if I qualify or not. I, I haven't had a private sale, so I'm sure I don't qualify for this, but a public sale? Uh, I don't know. Was that buying a CT part of a public sale? It doesn't sound like it to me. So anyway, I don't think I'm in this category at all. Uh, Probably uh, they're going to announce a public sale or a private sale at some point. Some people are going to be invited and they're going to be able to, uh, to stay here. Whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm not the elite <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> so uh, let's do the simple, easy thing instead. Let's go to staking. So you have liquidity staking and you've got three available factions with the lunatics, the interstellars and the degens. Now, uh, basically you choose one and you're stuck with it. <laughs> okay. 
you can't just see in my case I chose interstellar for the simple reason that the rate was slightly higher they have a very nice 302 percent uh, APR which is quite nice okay and the others are very close like 299 and uh, was it 291 or something so they're very very close and once you uh, you choose one you can choose any of them you're stuck on okay at least probably until you're on stake I guess I haven't uh, played with it in that long so I put uh, just a little bit of money here to play with it and test it and see if it's actually working uh, no problem uh, staking uh, and buying STT tokens everything went well so if we click on this you need to provide uh, liquidity uh, tokens STT uh, UST LP tokens okay so you make sure that you have both STTs and UST tokens available in your Terra wallet. Okay, so uh, the dollar amount has to be equivalent. Okay, okay, so one STT is about eight point seventeen dollars UST at the moment. So it gives you an idea. If you're going to put ten, you're going to need eighty-one. If you're going to put a hundred, you need eight hundred seventeen. UST and so on. So this went well. You click on it. Uh, you basically sign the contract using Terra, uh, your Terra wallet. Once that's done, you have to click on stake because now you have stakeable tokens, and you're going to be added. You you have to type in the actual amount that you want to stake they don't have a max button which in terms of uh, user interface I kind of like it so I don't know programmers in Poland okay uh, <laughs> maybe uh, add a max button or at least uh, a percentage or something I don't know would help if uh, we want to uh, deposit all our if we want to stake our, uh, all the LP tokens at once because otherwise now we have to type everything by hand. Anyway, it's minor inconvenience, but uh, the rest works. Everything looks good. So as you can see, I've got 32.15 LP tokens, not a lot of money, but I wanted to test the thing. It's new. As far as I understand it, it's not officially audited. They have a good team, apparently. Take uh, security seriously, apparently, but um, you know, it's new. So I'm not going to risk millions of dollars on this. I'm just going to uh, test with a few hundred dollars. That's how I do it. You do what you want. <laughs> okay, so they have more information on... Uh, you can contact them on uh, uh, Telegram. You can check uh, more information on their Medium account. And also, if you want to check and uh, talk, uh, check their Twitter. They've got Twitter as well. So, yeah, they also have uh, terms of use, privacy policy, disclaimers. Uh, if you want to uh, check these out, they all look good. So, project is uh, is quite interesting. Uh, the white paper does give a lot more information than I'm giving you right now. So. Uh, check the white paper okay they explain a lot more what the game is about uh, they explain uh, you know like why you have these three factions and so on and what are they gonna do and, and whatever so apparently in interstellars we have wizards so I guess I'm a wizard now yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you can read this at to uh, to your heart's content uh, whenever you feel like it, and they explain how uh, the, the three factions fight over uh, IDOs and whatnot and, and so on. They, ex they explain the gamification. Basically, 
They're trying to find uh, solutions to IDOs. They want people to get excited about, uh, you know, participating in IDOs and putting more and more tokens into this to invest and so on and so on. So it's a game, you see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. So at the moment, I'm investing in the staking and I'm getting about 302% APR, which is pretty nice. So as you can see, you got about $5 million each. They're pretty much equal. Okay, so total is about uh, 16.5 million, give or take. Okay, considering it's a brand new project, be careful. I mean, don't, we, uh, as I said, it's not officially edited, as far as I can tell. The team seems to be good, but it's brand new. Who knows what can go wrong? So, invest uh, what you think is safe to invest. And uh, hopefully, we're going to have a lot of fun with this project because it looks very exciting. I think they, they've got uh, a lot of ideas. Uh, hopefully, uh, they're going to materialize. Uh, they seem to have a pretty big team of people in there. If we look again in our Okay, so we have the same first people we saw earlier, but here, as you can see, there's 10 more of them that do all kinds of uh, different things. Okay, so it's a uh, reasonably good sized team, I think, and uh, you know, it, it looks serious enough from my point of view. So, if you like this kind of stuff, Please like, please subscribe, please ring the bell. And don't forget, there's my free book. You can download it for free. And if you don't want to get it for free, you go on Amazon and you pay $5.99. Okay, so have a good day. Bye-bye.